Hi Charge Heads, we're at the Charge Heads garage and we've got some things to do on the TVR wedgie. Let's uh, waste no time, get up to where the TVR is there, where Ralph is, and show you what we're doing. So Ralph, you've uh, got me up a ladder and uh, we're looking inside the uh, wedgie and uh, yeah, it's, it's looking slightly bare, more bare than last time I saw it. Yep. What's going on here? I see this has been, this looks like it's been painted recently, but... There's... Do you like some motion or something, right? Yeah. Well, this uh, is an interesting bit. So this bar is part of the strengthening system inside the shell. Right. So if we carefully peel back this beautiful beige... Um, She's beautiful, isn't she? It's, it's very beige. And take out the old filler neck. Yeah. Because you won't be needing this bit anymore. No. Maybe the hole on the outside. Yeah, uh, we use that for the charging point, but yeah, we won't excellent. need that. What you can see is this structure here. Yep. And this is what holds your seat belts on. So that's the top seat belt mount. The inertia wheel goes down at the bottom and that's welded to the bar that goes across the car. So it shows. forms a sort of an H pan. <clears throat> yep. And that's what gives it all of the strengthening it needs to hold those seat belts in and keep the, uh, the occupants safe. Yep. When you inevitably crash through a wall. It's inevitable, but yeah. yeah. So it's got various strengthening plates and everything in there that are very important. But they're all a little bit... Um, yeah, it's looking a bit rusty. Yeah, it's definitely very organic. Yes. So the next thing we're going to do, we've got those bits out there. We're going to take that plate off there. Yeah. We can take this off. And the reason we're doing this... Yeah, why are we doing all this, Ralph? Well, A, to try and uh, uh, get this all refurbished so that yeah. you, you actually stand a chance of surviving in the car. And the second thing is we're going to cut this top panel off completely. Yep. All of this. This will all come out mm -hmm. and we'll make a new one about that high that comes out and down like that. Okay. And the reason being is that this is where some of the batteries are going to go. Right. So we're going to get a layer of about seven modules across the top there, some more underneath, but we just need that little bit of extra headroom to get this set over the rear wheels. So you'll actually have some weight over the driven wheels. It's, it's entirely possible you could actually have some grip. Some grip would be good, yes. All right, so I'm going to take this out now. Hopefully, oh if, if the, uh, the captive nuts don't seize on. That's a good start. One. It's like that thing on Sesame Street, count, count. Oh dear, something fell down. Something did fall down, that would be the strengthening plate. That, it's not very strong on the floor, is it? No. Yeah. So, hmm. Now that plate should be loose, which it is. Okay. And that means with a bit of careful maneuvering, because these two aren't actually connected together. That one's welded onto the plate. Yeah. But this one just fits into a hole. Ah, okay. Uh, but as someone's filled it all up with paint, it's ah. free terribly easily. It's going to go underneath. Oh, oh. So, yeah, you can see the hole which was there. So, in one of the plates down there, was actually completely foobard, completely uh, dust. Yeah. But yeah, this is bad. So how are you going to refurbish it, Ralph? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try and get the... We'll, we'll grip blast this back and see how much actual metal there is. Yeah. Uh, if we need to build any of it up with new strengthening plates, we will do. To make that all good and strong again. But also, we're going to take this bar off here and weld it on further up. Further up, sir. So, yeah, got space for the batteries. So we've got the battery box space. All right, I'm going to leave you to it and uh, I'll get the kettle on. Yeah. Marvellous. Just a quick note, please like and subscribe for the channel. Really, really helps in what I'm trying to achieve here in terms of promoting EVs, exciting ones, EV conversions, modified EVs, and you know, good old trikey here. Also, please check out on the 24th and 25th of September, there is a petrol hedonism show with Gas Monkey, Richard Wall, and some other big stars there. Charge Heads is having a little group there of EVs, and I know that Moggy's gonna be there from Electric Classic Cars, and a few other uh, Charge Head uh, main followers. So please get involved, get on the Facebook group, or let us know on the website if you can come, because I do need a minimum of 15, but it'd be great to see you there. So we've been doing an archaeological dig ah. and uh, what we've found is this artifact from the 17th century, also known as your seatbelt man. Oh, fantastic. 
It's all uh, it's, it's all a bit brown in here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, hey, the other one, it's coming out. Oh, look at that is... That's patina. That is definitely, yeah. Oh, that's not a bad shout. Because the TVR was originally brown. Yeah. Could go back brown and give it a bit of the uh, rusty look. This is turning more into the rusty TVR rather than the uh, TVR wedgie. It's, it's taking uh, Rusty's name, isn't it? <laughs> is it time to introduce Bob to the camera? Come on, work it. <laughs> So this is the going to be the template for the battery box, uh, which Bob is just about to weld up, and that is going to be mounted on the chassis over yonder to work out how the batteries are going to fit onto the chassis. And then once we've got the template there, they're going to be putting the body onto the chassis to make sure it fits correctly. So uh, it's been uh, discussed before, but taking this front section, which isn't even lined up properly. So obviously Mr. Magoo uh, was fitting this front bumper section last time it was uh, put on, but uh, we're taking it off. I mean, it's, I think that would look pretty, very angular at the front there, but would it be good for aerodynamics, Ralph? Seriously, you're worried about aerodynamics with a car like this? It's the, there's a hole there. That's, yeah. that's not a aero, is it? Um, that's for cooling the brakes to stop them catching fire. It's a shame that I haven't got any cooling for the rear ones then. It's a big sound. Well, what we can do is we can put gills in front of the rear wheels to direct air straight into the uh, nice. rear brakes. Nice gills. I like that. We've got to keep the keep these bad boys. Turn keep them. them. Well, we'll have something in there, won't we? Because I need fog lights. Because I'm going to be using it in the winter. Because I'm mental. I've got an idea. Thanks. Oh. What have you found, Ralph? I found a thing. It's it's black, and the warranty is void if you remove it, and you've, it looks like you've already removed it. So, oh, hello. We laugh in the face of warranty. Ooh, I like that. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That would scare a few rabbits, wouldn't it? Maybe a wider one. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. LEDs. Ooh. <laughs> the light-emitting diodes are very exciting. Your, uh, Slowly getting it up, Ralph. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not going inversely. No, but, so you've got an ordinary seven inch light in there. Right. That seems to have got stuck now. Oh dear. Right. It worked before you touched it, just yeah. saying. Yeah. Just saying. But, can we not uh, use a used mini light in there or? Well, this is a standard seven inch light. Oh, so you reckon there'll be some potential aftermarket or maybe some used aftermarket ones out there already. Well, it's got to go LED, hasn't it? It's got to. 100%. Energy saving. Yes. Just looks a bit sad. Sad now, a bit frog-eyed. Oh, going up. Obviously the blue pills kicked in. You are back, you are Frankencock. It's got to be able to wink as well, like those MX-5s. Love all that. Yeah. Or maybe like a, a cross-eyed look. Get them to move around a bit. <laughs> so uh, here is the... What, what, what do you want to call this, Ralph? The uh, battery box structure? Or? Uh, no, this isn't the structure of the... Template. Box. This is just a template we're knocking up out of a bit of light gauge tube. Yeah. And we'll have seven uh, modules inside there. So they'll go like that. And then we'll have another two modules underneath there. And in addition, we'll have the cooling plate underneath them. So there'll be one cooling plate under this lot and another cooling plate there and another cooling plate there. OK. Someone in the comments asked if uh, if we could put some, if we were going to put some sort of heating for the batteries in the winter. And I spoke to you about that, didn't I, Ralph? Mm. And what did you say? Uh, well, I looked at your budget. And then you laughed. 
Yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. There we go. Enough said. Well, if, if I can save some money on something, if to there's... To be fair, <laughs> all we do is the cooling circuit for the batteries. We have a couple of diverter valves and we run that through a small heater circuit. So it's just a bit, of more, bit more plumbing, a bit more circuitry, and we have to find somewhere to put another water heater in. Right. So it's something that we can do. And what I would suggest is that we get the whole thing running first and then do that as a, an add-on. Yeah. Uh, the plan is is to have CCS charging on the CCS, car. CCS, yeah. Yeah, CCS. Combined charging system. I was going to call it CSS then. I don't know what that is. That would be combined sausage system. Yes. Well, hopefully uh, it's not going to uh, combine any sausages within the chassis. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. No. I'm trying to think what else we uh, went through, but I'm sure we'll we'll go through that in detail next time. Um, yeah, so everybody knows what is actually going to be on the TVR wedge and uh, any questions can be asked with regards to um, yeah anything that people think we might have mixed, missed or things that people would recommend that might already have on the EV conversion which they wish they put on theirs originally and then Ralph will tell me Not on your budget mate Exactly